Hi, beautiful souls. Often, dear, beautiful humans attach meaning to things. Something may come up, a pain in your knee, and they'll attach a meaning to it. This is why this is happening. It's because of this, because of that and the other. And I just want to invite you to just stop. Fair enough, you can decide if you want to create a meaning with it. But every time you create a meaning to something, you also create a belief. And every time you create a belief, it can limit you. Remember that a lot of the old ways of being, a lot of the old ways of healing are from a different perspective on how things were. The earth, Gaia, is of a higher frequency and when we use old methods of explaining and reasoning, what we're doing is we're keeping ourselves in an old paradigm. We're keeping ourselves contracted. So in order to open up and allow in for the new to allow the new to emerge, you have to be willing to let go of beliefs and putting meaning into things. Now, like I said, you get to decide if meaning still serves you, then that's by all means go ahead because, you know, we, we go through processes and everybody has at different, different points in their path and everybody is experiencing the lives that they have been brought to, brought forth to experience, to that their highest self has provided for them for what they need in this now lifetime. So for somebody, for instance, that has never experienced any healing arts or anything um, that challenges the the main narrative of, oh, this is how we do things. We go to the doctor, they say this, we take a pill and that's that. Anybody that hasn't uh, already challenged that, for them to be told or to go from there to be, to suddenly be like whew, expansive ways of being, don't create meaning onto things. That would be just too much. So there are steps that we all um, pass through as processes, as we expand and as we love more inside within ourselves, integrate more within our side ourselves so that we can so that we can love more externally to everyone else because they are all part of us. And and so that we can also come to the realization that when we create meanings into things, we are also creating separation. Now, you can look at different ways of, of healing as being absolute gifts as well. And you can look at different ways of seeing things as being gifts because one person might see with a perspective that might be very useful in one situation and not so much in another. So there is never any right or wrong in any of this, okay? It's about really stretching your ways of seeing, your ways of being, so that you so that you don't become stagnant, so that you don't become so comfortable that you think you know it all, because nobody knows it all. And when I say know it all, I'm talking about higher mind connected with your heart and your third eye, your higher love, seeing, being, residing from higher love. And as you're residing from higher love, you're continually expanding from there too. And so when somebody says something to you and it may not resonate, you don't say that that's not true because how can you say that to somebody else? That's true for them at their path right now, but you, you don't 
you don't uh, disempower them by saying no that's not right this is this is what's right so there is no right there is no wrong as we expand as we grow we we our hearts call us into greater loving actions so beyond looking for meanings into things we see where we can be of service and the way that we can be of service can be all different types of of um, ways of sharing our light and why would we not share our light if we are experiencing ourselves as more light because the more light we share just by being here but by also focusing and intending our light in certain places then we create more light here create more love here and we touch other hearts so if you feel this is right for you then stop and I'm not suggesting that you take on board anybody else's pain, suffering, but send prayers. And when I say send prayers, send love. I love you. I see you as perfectly well. I see abundance. I see success and joy and happiness and restoration and rejuvenation. And great good will come from this situation that you're now experiencing, even though it is challenging you dear one I love you and you can do this for places for people for plants for the sea for everything for all because there's no separation and it doesn't matter how big it is it's not difficult to do if you are fully in love with inside yourself if you're residing in love if love is what you are and who you are because you've integrated all from within you don't see any parts of you as being bad. You accept and love all that you are. And you accept and love all that all is. Then it's easy to give, to share. I should say the word share. Share is a better word. Share. Share love as you become lighter. Share love and do not place meaning onto too much. Thank you for watching. My name is Zaza, if you like this video, please share, subscribe or comment if you feel called to do so. Many blessings.